Hello everybody, James Ramirez here. Today I'm going to be making a video for you guys showcasing our three push mowers. So here they are right here. These are the three main push mowers we use for our landscaping business. Now we've had a good number of mowers, push mowers in the past, uh, like probably 11 plus since we started the business. Um, and uh, there we sold a bunch, we, some gave out on us, so we have three main ones that we use now. These are like, these are really the two main ones and then that's more of a backup. We have five mowers all together, but of those five, three of them are push mowers. So this one right here, this one is the smallest, it's a Murray. Uh, and I don't know if Murray even makes mowers anymore, but I think this is from 2004. This, it's a bit of an older mower, but it still runs pretty fine. In fact, it would probably start, that's another thing I'll be doing. I'll be starting up each of these mowers later in the video for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if they'll start just because they've been sitting for so long. I mean, it's the middle of winter and we don't use them that much, but I'll still try and start them and see if I can get them going. Um, right here we have a Honda GCV 170. This is a very common landscaping push mower. I don't think I've seen any lawn care business yet that isn't using a Honda or a, it's particularly a Honda, a Honda GCV 170. So they're, they're very, uh, they're, they're used quite a bit and very reliable. Um, that one was given to us for free. Actually, both of these were given to us for free just by very nice customers. And then this is the only, pro may even be the only piece of landscaping equipment that I've bought brand new. So anyway, um, this is our main mower. During the busy season, this is the main one we use. These both get about equal amount of use, but between the two, if I said that we used one more than the other, it would be this one. This is, I don't remember the model on this one. I think it's a, a Honda HRX something. Oh yeah, HRX 217 down there. Um, it's a really great mower. It's uh, We paid I think it was $800 for this thing, brand new, and it, it, personally, it has not lived up to my expectations. I mean, it's a decent enough mower, um, but it has given us a good deal of problems. Like, pretty much every other month, we have something, even if it's not big, but it's just small enough or large enough that it just needs, it needs fixing. So, honestly, at the end of the day, if I had to choose between the two, I would have gone with the um, GCV 170. They're just, uh, b between using, when I've been using both these mowers together, this one performs better. I don't think I've had a single problem for this. One time I think the, the drive belt busted, that was it. That's the only other problem I've had. Uh, this thing has had numerous problems. Blade problems, engine problems, starting problems. So, I mean, Altogether, it's not a terrible mower. It certainly does the job when it's going, but it uh, it has enough problems that it's kind of a bit of a hassle. So it has an interesting start here. All these these two mowers here start normal. Pull this back and pull the cord. This one, by the way, does not have. This is not self-propelled. This is, but it's so light that it's really easy to push. But anyway, this one, same deal. Pull that back. Pull the cord. This one does have self-propel. This one's a little different. In order to start it, you want to go down here, put it from the rabbit, all or from the turtle, excuse me, up to the rabbit, and then you want to pull. Actually, I don't think you do pull this back. This is just for blade control, so never mind about that. You just put it all the way up to the rabbit, pull this, it'll start, the engine will start, and then in order to engage the blade, you press this down, and then pull that back. Um, right now, this uh, isn't working. We're gonna have to have our mechanic look at it, or I might be able to work something out. But as is, the blade that will will not start right now. So this uh, this right here, um, the whole blade, the the way it starts with the blade. Um, my personal experience with it is it's been decent enough, but this is probably what's given us the most problems while using it. It's just. Uh, when you go to press that down and pull this back, it, it won't always engage. And there were times where we just literally could not get it to engage and there was no visible problem. Our mechanic, he was, he had no idea what was going wrong with it. He had taken the whole thing apart and he could not figure out why the blade just wouldn't engage. So 
it's kind of cool that you can operate the or turn on the engine without the blade running which is kind of nice that way you don't have to turn it off keep turning it on and off and all that so that's kind of neat but yeah all together between these three this is the one that i'd go with it's just it's a great push mower especially for the kind of not quite commercial landscaping that we do we're a bit more residential like we we really only have residential jobs but even for a commercial business i don't see why this mower would not be a great option so anyway that is it for our well actually i'll start them up for you guys real quick um i'm not sure if any of them will start but we'll see what we can do all right here we go guys let's see if we can do this we'll start off with this one right here didn't think that any of them would start really because they've been sitting for such a long time this one surprised me the most because this one's been sitting the longest and it gives us the most problems so when it started up I was like oh my goodness gracious <laughs> so anyway that's our three push mowers for you all together they're really awesome they're we've gone through so many push mowers I think one of our customers a while back it was one of our first push mowers gave us a uh, I want to say it was a Troy built or a Toro or something. And it was just the greatest mower I've ever used, really. I don't remember the model. I wish I did. And we literally ran that thing to the ground, put no oil in it because we were really green and we didn't know anything about equipment maintenance. But it was just, I didn't put any oil in it. And that thing still kept running. When we found out that we weren't putting oil in it, we put some more oil in it and it kept running great. Like, it, it was just amazing so it was a really great push mower but anyway that's pretty much it for these um all together like i said great mowers but all out of all of them i would really recommend this one it's a great mower don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below on uh which of these mowers you like the most and uh, what videos you'd like me to make in the future I'm definitely planning on making a video about our uh, zero turn riding mower. Our other riding mower uh, doesn't work. Um, I blew up the engine on it, so I probably won't make a review for that, but um, definitely the zero turn I'm planning on making a uh, big video for, really get in depth. It's a really great machine, so just stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye.